Hey guys, I got another little quick one for you. This is a uh, an alarm clock I picked up. It's got a wireless charger on top, so I can just put my phone on top and let that go. It tells you the temperature and the time, and it's a nice, you know me, and anything basically wooden or bamboo, anything that looks like wood, essentially. I, I love the grains and stuff. So when I saw this, you know, I had to scoop it up. Uh, so let's go see what it looks like. I have not opened this, so this will be literally a legit unbox. Um, all right, so we come with our little manual here on how to set things. It does have, I, from the looks of it, military time as well as normal time. Okay, we have a USB-C cable. Okay, so let's check this out. All right. So all the buttons are on the back here. So we have our time, alarm. Uh, no idea what these other buttons are for. This is your battery compartment for the batteries. Um, this does take a 1632, CR1632 um, three volt button from the looks of it. I would say probably a button one. I would have to take it apart to find out. However, you can USB power this. So if you don't want to go wireless and you want to plug it into a power brick or a um, you know, whatever you want to call it, the, the USB ports on like outlets, things like that, you can. Um, you can also hook this up, I guess, to a computer or a power brick if you wanted to for like, you know, camping. You can throw this on to, you know, like one of those little power bricks. I don't know how much of a pull this would have. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can get some power supply over here so we can turn this on and see what this looks like. But uh, I am definitely going to need to, here's your wireless part where you put your phone down on top of it. I can't exactly show that off because, well, I use my phone for recording for the most part, especially when I'm doing things here. Um, I use my phone for that versus my other rig. So, um, yeah. All right. So let me go find out about a power supply here and see if I can get this going. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with a power supply here. So now you can actually see the clock. I set the time and date. Um, basically, in order to set the time and date, you just press and hold the time button here for a few seconds. This will start blinking. So I can come in here and go like this. So now it's set on the date, well, the year. So I set that to it. Once you set what you want with the up and down buttons, then you hit time again, it'll switch over to the date. Now this is, I presume the month, because sometimes these products are backwards. So I'm gonna presume this is the month. So I set this to December 8th. So you hit time again, now I can set the day. Now I can set the clock to either 24 hours, which you know, military time one, or I can set it for 12 hours, which is our standard here. So I have it set for 12 hours. Now I can set the actual time for the hour using again, up and down button, then our minutes. Once that's set, then I just hit it and it's done doing its thing. So right now it's still trying to regulate the temperature of my room because I keep moving this thing around a bit. So it says it's 75 when it's actually a lot cooler in here. So I'm sure this thing will eventually regulate and learn what the temperature of my room actually is. Um, functionality on this thing is very easy to use and it looks really nice lightweight and again this is running off of literally a power brick right now or you can come here and unscrew this little compartment here and put in because it says on here cr 1632 batteries which i don't have sadly i thought i did have a batch of them but apparently i don't so i can't test the battery function on this one but that's why i figured hey power brick it instead so if you have USBs by your bed, you can plug this into USB, you can run this to a power brick, you can run this to an outlet with a USB and run, or you can put batteries in here and it becomes a portable unit. So anyways, you have your wireless charger up on here with this little lightning here, you can put that down. Um, again, I can't test that really because I have the phone in use. And um, yeah, this is supposed to be, I think they said a 10 watt. If I read that correctly, I think it is. 
Uh, do, 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 do. I forgot where that was. Uh, hang on. Brightness setting temperature. Where's the wireless part again? Wireless charger, 10 watt. So this does have a 10 watt, you know, output for the fast charge suitable for Samsung S7 and above or iPhone 8 and above. Should have the wireless thingies built into it. Um, otherwise, if I'm going to use a power brick, they recommend, you know, a two amp, five volt, you know, brick. If you, if you have one of those, um, it will work off of a one amp, but they prefer two just for, you know, stability reason, I guess. So they do recommend bolt settings here. Um, yeah. Plus if you're on a two amp, this will work a little better as well, because it'll have more oomph going to it. Anyways, hopefully this uh, helps you out. Um, again, this is the Sunru brand of uh, clock here. And I look forward to using this because, you know, I'm tired of having to roll over and grab my phone and look at the time when I had a clock, but it just died and I never replaced it. Well, here's my replacement. Alrighty, guys. Enjoy.